Now, from the world of the gruesome and grotesque, comes your most horrifying meeting with nerve-chilling fear. It's an unbelievably terrifying experience. But you must see all this for yourself, if you're brave enough. Horror walks the night as the half-dead creature causes savage death and destruction. One promising result of this phase of the experiment is that the pernicious side effects of chlorophyll on the body itself have been arrested. In the meantime, the body is alive, but is merely vegetating. It cannot be activated without a guiding intelligence, which cannot be provided by a mechanical device. On the other hand, the Ramon's head cannot as yet be safely returned to his body. So you've gone back to experimenting with human beings again? Oh, yes. Your original judgment has been thoroughly vindicated. I'm other than ever. You'll see an orgy of bloody terror as a mad fiend transplants human heads in the cave of horrors. It's more fantastic than science, more shocking than fantasy, as you see a super struggle between life and death all to find the forbidden secrets of the weird and sinister scientists of doom. You'll never forget the creature without a head, controlled by an insane artificial brain. When you see the most shocking screen experience of them all, Beast of Blood. <laughs>